So one of the things that you find often in people with epilepsy, especially people who've had a lot of seizures, is mesial temporal sclerosis or hippocampal atrophy. So those mesial temporal structures can be shrunken and smaller if there's been repeated seizures. So what we know is patients with partial complex seizures, the ones that come from the temporal lobe over here, deep inside is where the hippocampus is. And the hippocampus sort of looks like a little sausage that's deep inside your brain. So as Patty mentioned, repetitive seizures can scar it. Infections, patients that have had repeated febrile seizures, it can be scarred and can cause repeated seizures in adults. So it's something that will be detected on a good MRI. So it's an, it's an area of the brain that controls memory, it's like a memory relay station. Some emotional stuff is located in the amygdala that's right there next to the hippocampus. And what happens is that it's not working anymore to do anything useful, but it is generating seizures. So these patients might respond very well to medication and some of them might need surgery. So hippocampal sclerosis, mesial temporal sclerosis can be easily scarred inside the temporal lobe. It could be a cause of seizures. And it's important to have that conversation with your doctors to find out whether that is the cause of your epilepsy and to find out what's the right treatment.